Green Zero One. I'm in Core the Second, and welcome back to the things they missed in 21W078, the ninth snapshot for Minecraft 1.17, the Caves and Cliffs update. Now, as always, I need to explain to you some things. I'm not going to be reviewing the whole snapshot, just the specific interesting detail and little things that most people missed. And I'm also not saying that you definitely have not heard these facts, but I assure you you'll have at least a couple new interesting things here that I bet you have not heard. But yeah, that's just my bet. I'm not confirming. And let's just get into the little things. So, uh, there's not much to talk about here, honestly. So I am in this Sky Islands Dripstone Caves biome world type thing. And if you don't know how I did this, you should see the previous video. Uh, for the previous snapshot, but basically you just need to make a new world in the Sky Islands world on this version and just pick the Dripstone Caves biome and you'll see a Sky Islands crazy cave uh, dimension kind of world. So that's pretty much it, uh, but I do want to talk about the actual additions in the snapshot. So, uh, what I wanted to say is Grimstone has been added and uh, the Tiles Bricks recipe is actually missing so you cannot do anything with tiles or bricks should i say sorry i got that a little wrong so with the new grimstone it also uh added a new stone type material for crafting so you know you had these stone tools and your brewing stands and your furnace and you would craft them with blackstone or lego or cobblestone now you can also use grimstone but it does not include stuff like droppers and more complicated recipes that require cobblestone but for some reason cannot be crafted with grimstone or uh, blackstone but it's just how my minecraft is for some reason well actually i have a data pack that fixes that problem so you should check it out but yeah so anyways let's go back to this snapshot so the thing about bricks tiles and a chiseled grimstone is that they're actually easier to mine than regular grimstone and if you didn't know grimstone is a little bit harder to mine than regular stone the difference is in single tick so regular stone takes eight ticks to mine and grimstone actually takes nine ticks to mine but that's actually an astronomical difference because that means that you cannot in survival mine grimstone with even if you have uh an in insta mining haste beacon and efficiency five nether pickaxe you cannot insta mine grimstone but one thing you probably have noticed is that these special uh types of worlds actually do not have the grimstone generation properly so when this uh, is below y equals zero it should start to transition into grimstone it doesn't actually work because it's like a separate um setting for world generation and for some reason it's not enabled in these special types of worlds so as you can see that's why there's only regular stone around here and uh also a note about the grimstone generation is that it starts at y equals zero but it fully takes over only at y equals negative 8. So that's when it's all going to be grimstone and no stone. Well, with regular words, of course, not this. So one interesting thing about the generation here is that when uh, the log pillars were first introduced for mineshaft generation, they actually were made not with logs, but instead with wood blocks. So these ones. And that has been actually replaced now for normal logs. So you would see them like this. And they used to be wood for some reason, but now they're just logs vertically. And that's basically that change. Also, the stone materials that you see, uh, the blobs, should I say, of granite, andesite, and uh, diorite, have been tweaked. And basically what this means is that they are much larger now, but there's also less of them. So it's a little bit tweaked. Now, there's actually a bug in this version when it comes to uh, carvers. So we had regular cave carvers, which are canyons and the old 1.16 and lower uh, type caves they don't actually generate under y equals zero so that's the bug in this version it's going to come back in the future and there are also uh, less aquifers in this version and just noise caves in general are also less common not easy to demonstrate in this type of world but just take my word for it that's what it is also uh, there was a note of the new uh, ore distribution with lapis there was a section that said lapis uh, in parentheses buried and people didn't understand what that meant. Well, what I'm going to explain to you is basically that that means they're going to be buried the same way that ancient debris is. Which means there is never ancient debris exposed in the nether. You always have to mine it. 
and that applied to the new lapis generation, it'll never generate next to air. It'll always be submerged in stone. So that's basically the same as ancient debris. You have to dig it in to find it. So that's the note on lapis being buried, uh, which actually doesn't include all lapis. Just there's a streak of lapis in the chart that is buried, and the rest of lapis is exposed. Now, also this whole area, uh, I know it's been looking kind of suspicious. I've been flying around here the whole video. Well, yes, obviously this is a stronghold, which is the new way to generate it. Basically, before they would generate in the middle of nowhere, just in air. Uh, completely broken now that's the way they generate very obvious especially with libraries I noticed specifically libraries for some reason they always have their roof exposed compared to other parts of the stronghold but uh, I'm, it's safe to say this is pretty obvious but the cool thing about this is that you can still find ores and other generation in the midst of this terrain that is generated around the stronghold they also fixed a bug, which I cannot show you here, but before you would see cave generation go all the way to bedrock and leave the layer of bedrock exposed, that no longer happens. So uh, that makes it look more natural and nice. And also the funny thing about this version is when they added Grimstone, they did not have infested Grimstone. And that means that you could still find blobs of infested stone uh, in the Grimstone layers and it would be very obvious. But it's going to be fixed in the future as we know. So we're pretty much done with all the features. Uh, that just leaves us at the couple last things to say about. And those are mostly just little bug fixes. For example, the beacon beam was extended because, you know, the world height is changing. And the player sleep percentage game roll was broken. Now it's fixed. Basically, if you set it at zero, it would not skip the night. It would actually just pop you off the bed. So that was really weird. Uh, basically, that would mean that... It only depends on one person to sleep to reset the whole uh, night cycle for an entire server. And that no, no longer glitches out. Before, it wouldn't be possible to do that if you set it to zero. And now it works. So also there's a bug with seagrass replacing the witch hut. So if the witch hut generated in uh, the part when the pillar intercepts a seagrass block, then it will replace the pillars, which is obviously not natural, so they changed it. And they also put the vine generation back into jungles. If you've seen jungles, then you would know that actually they had vines generating around the terrain, not just near the trees and the logs in the trees. Uh, they also generate on the walls. So they brought that back. And also the buttered snow bucket. If it was at the top limit of the world, it would just use the bucket and it would empty the bucket and leave it into the dispenser. So there would be no block place, but you would waste your powdered snow. Now what it does is it just spews out the item itself. So the powdered snow bucket item is what you get. But it doesn't waste your powdered snow, so that's that fixed. And that was pretty much it for this snapshot. I know it's not uh, very timely of me to do this. They just announced the 1.17 split, and here I am in 21W07A. But, as I mentioned before, college is a lot of work. And we're also nearing to the end, so I'm hopefully going to have more time to work on these types of videos. So yeah, I'll try my best to uh, catch up to schedule more or less with these snapshots. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video still, even if it's really late. But it does have little facts, so that might be interesting, I guess. Regardless, as always, thanks for watching. Smash subscribe, ring my bell, and as always, stay.